Success never moves in a straight line up and to the right. It always comes with some setbacks and some disappointments. Today what I want to do is I want to talk to you about those gut punching contract cancellations that can really hold you back and how to move on from them so that you find the success you're looking for. Every successful agent I know has war stories of that one or two transactions that really threw them for a loop. Maybe it was a contract they were really counting on and they needed the funds for and it just canceled at the last minute or it fell apart at the last minute. Maybe it was a situation where they were just really thinking that this was the transaction that was going to take them to the next level and along the way something happened and it ended up not closing. We all go through this. If you're going through one of those situations now, I want to give you some encouragement. This too shall pass. What I want to do today is really give you a step-by-step -step process on how to get past these transactions so that you don't let them distract you and keep you from the goals you have in your business. One of the best ways I know to learn is through the use of acronyms where we take the first letter of maybe a phrase and we utilize that word to give us a point of reference so that we can see this process. Today what I'm going to do is I want to use the acronym MOVE ON to help you move past some of those difficult transactions or maybe some of those difficult things that have happened in your business. That leads us to the first letter M which stands for be mindful of the mistakes or opportunities you might have missed in this transaction. Every single time that you go through a struggle, you can have the opportunity to learn something that can make you better going forward. It's one of those situations where we say that if you're going to fall, fall forward. Make sure that you've had something that if you go through it, learn something from it that can propel you into the future. When you're looking back at this transaction, was there something that maybe you missed? Maybe you should have known ahead of time that maybe you can learn from so that it doesn't happen again in the future. Maybe it was that you missed a certain date that you needed to be mindful of. Or maybe it was something where you got a little bit of an intuition about something was coming and you just kind of let it pass and maybe you should have moved forward a little better. Maybe it was that the communication should have been better in that transaction with your buyer, your seller, or with the other agent. Whatever it was, go back and review this transaction. Now listen, we don't want to sit in this pain of this transaction, but what we do want to do is we want to go back and we want to take a look at what the things that happened and what might have led to that canceling. Sometimes it's completely out of your control, but what were the things that you could have done that you could have controlled that maybe would have helped this thing go a little smoother. When we go through difficult transactions, sometimes the biggest thing that we need to learn from this is something that's gonna propel us into the future. Make sure that you don't let this pain be in vain, so to speak, that you take advantage of the opportunity to learn something and begin to move on after this transaction is done. The second letter is O and it stands for open or close communication with your client that you just went through the difficult transaction with. Listen, there are times when a relationship just needs to be moved on from. Should you close this relationship? Is it something where this client was just unreasonable and you're going to know that the next transaction they're going to be unreasonable as well? If so, have the guts to just move on and choose who you're going to work with. However, if there was a transaction and maybe it was the agent on the other side or maybe it was just the situation or maybe it was something where you've owned the fact that you missed something and your client is willing to forgive you, whatever it was, should you continue and keep an open dialogue with this client and move on and help them find the perfect place for them to buy or move forward and find the perfect buyer for their home if you've got it as a listing. What should you do in this situation to decide on what's going to help you move forward? Again, we're talking about moving on. Can we move past this transaction and have this relationship go forward? Because oftentimes when we go through difficult times, that's when we have the opportunity to d build deeper relationships with the clients we're working with. Or is this a client that you just simply need to move on from? When you ask this question, be clear, be concise, make a decision, and at that point, move forward with that decision. All right, so the first steps with the M was is to be mindful if there was something you could do different. O was is to figure out whether you want to open or close that relationship. That really is what we're doing in the past. Now what we want to do is we want to move to what can we do moving forward? How do we get past this? Because a lot of times it's the emotion that holds us back. A lot of times we sit in issues a lot longer than we have to. So what can we do to get back centered? A lot of times what I'll do if I'm in a difficult situation is I'll go back to someone or something that makes me happy. Something or someone where I had a success. 
So the V in this acronym stands for visit with past clients. Who was that ideal client that you just hit it off with? Who is that person that is a raving fan of yours? Visit with those people. Pick up the phone, call those folks, and just do a check-in call. Hey, it's been a little while. Just checking on you guys, seeing if you still love your house. Hey, it's been a little while. Just want to check on you and the family and see how you're doing. Those conversations that are positive can jar you a little bit, get you past some of those difficult times, can get you out of that emotion of the regret or maybe the things that you wish would have happened. And now you're focused back in on positive things, about relationships that are life-giving instead of tearing you down. Once we get to a place where we've gotten past that past situation, now we begin to start to elevate our operation in a way that gives us the ability to know that we know that we still have some value to add in this business and we have people that believe in us and now with that boldness we can walk in to everything that we're supposed to have. The E stands for effectuate a plan of action. That's a big word for me to use but effectuate basically means is to put into practice something that you have put a plan together for. So what can we do to put a plan together that we can then begin to take action on? What is it that you've done in the past that's led to success? We evaluated what happened in this past transaction but let's think about some things that have happened in in the past. We just visited with past clients. Think about how that transaction went. How did you begin that relationship? How did you find those folks as far as were they a lead that you bought online or was it someone that you met in an open house? Was it someone that maybe you found when you were door knocking or that you were circle prospecting? Go back to those things. Develop a plan of action where you've had success before and now we've got a plan of action that we can begin to build our confidence back up and walk back into everything we're supposed to do. All right, now that we have our plan of action in place, now it's time for us to use the O, which is overwhelm the market with our activity. What is it that you know that you know? If you do these things, then you will find success. Is it holding open houses? Hold one every single day that you have an opportunity to do so. Is it making calls or circle prospecting on places that have sold or places that have come on a market, if that's the case, make so many of those calls that they can't help but notice the activity you're doing. Overwhelm the market with your activity. Once we have effectuated that plan of action and now we're overwhelming the market, good things are gonna happen. That brings us to last but not least, the N, which stands for never let one transaction or one situation keep you from all that you're supposed to have. You have big dreams. If you got into real estate, you're someone that has a dream of doing something larger. You have an ability really to go out and take advantage of the opportunities you have as long as you don't let one little transaction, one difficult situation hold you back. A lot of times, I believe it's just the world trying to see, are you serious about this? Are you serious about having success in real estate? Are you serious about doing what it takes to reach that goal that you have? Because sometimes what will happen is, is we'll have these distractions and most people will just sit down and quit. They'll say, well, that was difficult. I don't want to feel that pain anymore. I'm just going to stop. Let me just say this. Your path to success in real estate is going to involve obstacles. It's not a matter of if, it's how will you handle those obstacles. When you come to a place where you're determined to not let one transaction, one bad situation, one person hold you back from everything that you're supposed to have, now we've got a recipe that we can really work on. Now we've got a resolve that's gonna help us to take actions when things get difficult. Now we've got a resolve that when we think about maybe making that one extra call, we're gonna go ahead and do that with boldness because we know that we know we're heading in the direction that leads to our success. I wish I could tell you this business was all candy and rainbows, but unfortunately, if you're gonna be the agent that you wanna be, if you're gonna serve the people that you've been put on this earth to serve in this capacity as a real estate agent, there's gonna be difficulty. It's not a matter of if, it's when. And it's not a matter of if you will have these difficulties, but how will you respond to them? I wanna encourage you. Take the time, study the process that we just talked about and move on to everything you're supposed to have. The clients that are out there that need what you have are waiting. They're begging for you to get past this, this difficult transaction and to move on to a place where you can serve them in the way you've been created to serve. The business of your dreams is right on the other side of you getting past these difficult times. Take action, be bold, understand where you're headed, effectuate that plan and overwhelm the market with your activity, and I promise good things are gonna come. I hope this has been helpful, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. I specifically chose the video below for you because it builds on the one you just watched. I hope it's helpful, and I'll talk to you soon.